Hey everybody. Uh, as you know, yesterday I made a turkey. So today I'm going to make uh, something kind of like a turkey pot pie filling, but we're going to put it over rice. And it's very simple to do, and I'll just be using the um, broth from the turkey to make the gravy. And, um, and then a pretty good amount of the turkey and some vegetables, and hopefully it'll be really good. So, but first, before we get started, uh, you know I'm doing the gifts that I got that I haven't recognized yet. And today, I want to show this pot, and there are four of them. This is the smallest. It has its lid. And then there's three bigger. And this came from Jim. And I really needed some bigger pots. And so uh, this was just a blessing. I've already used it. And, and uh, it did real well. I really enjoy it. And thank you so much, Jim. That's very thoughtful and sweet of you. And... Uh, it was something I really needed, so thank you. So now, uh, we'll get started on the gravy. And uh, this is the pot that I cooked the turkey in, and uh, I don't have that sitting probably where you can see too good there and this is the um broth that came off of it and that's what we're going to use for the gravy and i was just heating it up on here because it had kind of gotten a little bit hard so i'm gonna move this over and get my pot here and pour this broth into this pot. So hopefully I won't spill any. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is take some flour and put in here and make the gravy. And I don't want a real thick gravy. And the rule is for however much liquid you need the same amount of flour but i'm not going to do that much because i'd have gravy coming out of my ears so this is a cup measuring cup and i use about half of a cup of flour and so we're going to stir this up This is how my dad would make gravy at Thanksgiving. But he would take the fat off of the broth and do this part with the flour and then he would add the, the uh, rest of the broth. But I just do it all together. And I think it's just as good as dad used to make. But it's a delicious gravy. And I'm making more than we will eat today because I want to um, freeze some of the filling. And then whenever we want some, we can just get it out of the freezer. So this is thickening up. Uh, nicely. Right, 
I'm going to add some water to it. But I want it to kind of cook for a minute and get some of that flour taste out of it. Seem to have a little bit of a cold today. A little bit sniffly. And the gravy or the broth that was on this, I don't know if you were able to see it or not very well, but it was very dark and rich and real flavorful. So I'm not gonna be adding anything to this, probably not even salt and pepper. Usually I like um, especially salt for the person to add it at the table because you don't know sometimes, depending on who you're cooking for, if they can have salt or not. And so, um, sometimes it's best just to not add the salt. And you can see that this is um, a nice shade of, of uh, brown because it's, getting its color from the rich broth. So let me grab a cup and I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in that. And you know, the longer it cooks, it will thicken up also. So now what I'm gonna do is put some turkey in there. This is what I had from the dark meat. There might be just a little bit of white meat in there, but this is what I had from the dark meat and I'm gonna put some of it in. Break it up a little bit. And I'm gonna put plenty of turkey in this. And it's gonna get even more flavor from this turkey going in there. And um, simmering for a while. And I'll put some white meat too. Which do y'all like, dark meat or white meat? I am a white meat girl. And I'm just gonna keep adding some turkey to it. Here's a big old piece of white meat. So 
and uh, like I had said, my kids cooked at Thanksgiving and Christmas, and we didn't have to worry about cooking, which was really sweet, but then again, we didn't have any leftovers. So this was good so I could have some leftovers. And when I get as much turkey in here as I want, I'm just gonna cut the heat down and let this simmer really low for a while and let that uh, meat kind of break up some more and I'll, and then we'll come back and I have here the mixed vegetables that I'm gonna put in. So I'll go ahead and not bore you by having you watch me tear up meat and I'll be back in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mixed vegetables. The turkey pie filling and rice is done. And um, I will show it to you and then I'll dish out some and we'll give it a taste. And I forgot to turn on my light earlier and just now, but I got it. So here is what this looks like. I hope you're able to see it. And then just a regular pot of rice. So I'm gonna put some rice on the plate. And I'm gonna put some of this. Smells really good. And there will be plenty to freeze um, probably two times for two meals. So now I'm gonna give it a taste. This is really hot. You probably can see that steam coming up. Mm. That gravy is so good. Tastes just like my dad's. And we'd put it over stuff and turkey, mashed potatoes and all that, but it's really good in this. 
but um, I gotta have one more bite. It's good. Mm. Anyway, I hope you make it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's a meal that um, I think that you and your family would like. You can stretch it by uh, the rice and not putting as much of the chicken and vegetables on it as I have and make it go a little further. But I appreciate you watching. Please do something nice for yourself and someone else. It's always a blessing when you can do something to brighten someone's day. Take care, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.